Mr. Chairman. Uh, well, a few remarks from my point of view, my experience in Mexico City. When we arrived to the government two years and a half, the first question that we made by the time was a, how do we manage the economic growth of the city? Because the city and the country in the past 12 years, during the most important growth period in the history of the United States and the global economy, growth only 2%, which means no growth in economic terms. So the first question, how to deal with uh, our economy? What's wrong? And the answer is quite simple. The political elite in our country, in our city, just forget the importance of science and mainly technology. So it's not a matter of how much do you put in the budget each year, but the whole conception about the economy. So we started since two and a half years ago to try to change this, which means a lot of things. First, it's a, we should build a bridge between institutions, scientific teams, and enterprises and private sector in a country where to have a middle enterprise or a new one is really difficult because uh, it's not a it's, it's not a innovation friendly uh, situation in Mexico City by the time so the the first answer okay let's try to move our, our economy to a knowledge economy because we have the 75 percent of the investigate uh, scientific work in Mexico is in Mexico City. We have the National University, we have a lot of things. We can do it. If Mexico City cannot do it, nobody else in Mexico is going to do it. So we started to work in this. And the other the other question is what are we going to do with our vision about the future of the city? We want the city plan for person for community and not for cars, as we did for years. We put a lot of money in freeways. Doesn't make sense because Mexico City is a very, it's like Singapore or, or other cities. I mean, you have a high density of population. You have little room to build freeways or some sort of this kind of infrastructure. But nevertheless, for years, our government did it. So we should change as much as we can the trends of the city to the middle term. The other issue is energy. Energy, why? Because our consumption of energy is growing and it's going to grow if we succeed with the economy and we need to be ready to a new sources of energy, a new way to use the energy in the city. So we are working on also. And third, the risk, several risks that the city has to confront re-emerging re or, or new viruses as influenza, the new kind of virus, uh, show us in April past this year, or the changes in the in, in, in flow risk for city because Mexico City is a city in, in the middle of a lake. Don't remember that it used to be a lake. So we put the city in the middle. It means uh, a, a very high risk. So changes in energy, changes in the way we see the future of the city or the risk that I mentioned requires another kind of approach to science, technology, 
and to organize our capabilities to respond to these new necessities. So, what's the common link between all these questions and answers? Put science and technology in the center of the public policy. All the way, we are going to fail because we don't have time, because we don't have a lot of money, as other countries, and because it's the only way to build the bridges between private sector, institutions, scientific people, and government. Uh, what's, what's going on in Mexico, <clears throat> Mexico City? Well, shortly, we put money in projects, in an approach of not to put a lot of money in institutions, but in projects. Projects linked to those questions with time to find a solution for the time to um, deliver some kind of result. We are financing right now something like 75 projects, mainly in healthcare, in other transportation facilities. Uh, the next month, we are going to put money in energy facilities or energy, new, new sources of energy for the city. And uh, we didn't, didn't have two years and a half ago an institution or a way to promote from the government those kind of things. So we organize a network, little institutions, not expensive ones, and we are putting the money in the projects. Um, I think that the issue here is that we are moving fast than the national governments as it the same thing in Europe and, and Asia and several countries. For instance, climate change. If you compare the, the compromises from New York, LA, Mexico City with our national governments, we are ahead, far ahead, the national governments taking decisions we have our plan. We are. We should put in two percent per year our CO emissions to the atmosphere. And uh, the federal government is thinking on us in the United States or in our countries. So I should. I, I want to remark that the, the the future of the cities in technology and science and decisions, important decisions for the world is greater and greater. It's going to be more important each time. So we should work in a network with the cities of the world. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Seven minutes. Perfect. Perfect. I almost had to sign up, but you finished. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can see why we're going to have lots of interesting questions for the mayor if you can Jot them down if you have them so you don't forget because we're going to have one interesting panelist after another.